Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Welcome back to All About AI Tech. Today, we've got a hot topic for you that's been buzzing around the tech world, Apple Vision Pro, and why it's failing at user repairability. Stick around, because you're going to want to hear this. So, let's start with some good news. In December, New York became the first state to roll out a right to repair law for electronics. Other states like Oregon and Minnesota have jumped on board too. This law is a big deal as it requires companies to provide access to repair materials, diagnostics, and manuals to consumers. But here's the kicker. Just because the law exists doesn't mean everything's peachy. The U.S. Public Interest Research Group, or PERG as they're known, recently released their Leaders and Laggards report. They evaluated 21 new gadgets, and let's just say the results are eye-opening. Now, let's talk smartphones. Interestingly, all four smartphones evaluated got top grades. A minus or A. So that's good news, right? But don't get too excited yet. The story takes a twist when it comes to other types of devices. For instance, the HP Spectre Fold foldable laptop scored abysmally with a D minus. Per gave it just 2 out of 10 for parts and 4 out of 10 for the manual. That's pretty disheartening if you're trying to fix your own device. Cameras didn't fare any better. The report reviewed Canon's EOS R100, Fujifilm's GFX 102, Nikon's ZF, and Sony's Alpha 6700. All but one got an F. The exception, the Sony camera, only managed a D+. And for those of you eyeing VR headsets, brace yourselves. Perg gave Apple's Vision Pro and Meta's Quest 3 an F. These findings suggest a huge gap between product release and user repairability. Why are these products scoring so low? One major issue is the accessibility of repair manuals. Even though New York's Digital Fair Repair Act mandates that consumers should get the same repair tools and manuals as the company's technicians, accessing these is another story. Check this out. Sony's PlayStation 5 Slim scored just 1 out of 10 for its manual. Perg couldn't even find the service manual online, and when they asked Sony's customer support, they were told to go to a service center instead. Frustrating, right? Even Apple's well-publicized self-service repair store, which was launched in April 2022, didn't make things much easier. Perg had trouble getting straight answers from Apple customer service representatives. One rep even said that only trained Apple technicians could make repairs, despite the availability of full repair manuals and parts online. To give you some numbers, only 12 out of 21 products reviewed by Perg provided proper replacement procedures, and only 11 detailed which tools were needed for disassembly. Yes, you heard that right. Less than half. But hey, that's where communities like ours come in. We can share tips, experiences, and even offer support to those trying to independently repair their devices. It's all about coming together and making sure we're informed and empowered. The right to repair movement is crucial for everyone. It demands more transparency from companies and asserts that we, the consumers, deserve the right to fix what we own. Why should we be forced to pay for expensive repairs or buy new when something breaks? And remember, Every time you fix your own device, you're not just saving money. You're empowering yourself and reducing electronic waste. It's a win-win. We hope to see even more states enact right to repair laws. The more regions adopt these laws, the more pressure there will be on companies to comply and make their devices user reparable. We're building a community of tech-savvy individuals who support consumer rights and the right to repair. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and join us in this journey. So if you found this video useful or you have more info to share, smash that like button, leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. Your support helps us keep bringing you the inside scoop on all things tech. We're constantly working to improve the quality of our videos. We want this to be your go-to channel for all tech insights, and we rely on your feedback to make that happen. Let's build this community together. I appreciate every one of you who tunes in, and I'm so grateful for your support. Let's make tech more accessible for everyone. And that's a wrap for today's video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our other videos and stay tuned for more updates and insights on the latest in tech. Catch you in the next one.